Janice puts a fence around her rectangular garden. The garden has a length that is nine feet less than three times its width. What is the perimeter of Janice's fence if the area of her garden is 5,670 square feet? So we ha we're given dimensions. Let's go ahead and just draw out what this garden might look like. So let's have a width and a length. Just an approximate picture. It, maybe it turns out that the width is longer than the length. It doesn't really matter. So here's our width, here's our length. We're told that the garden has a length that is nine feet less than three times it, its width. So we need to come up with some expressions that will give us the length and the width, preferably in terms of one variable. I suppose you could do it in terms of two, but it's better to do it in terms of one. So I recommend, let's call this W. And if we call it the width W, what would the length be? Well, the length is nine feet less than three times its width. So it's gonna be three times its width, and then we subtract nine, because it's nine less than three times that width. We also know that the area is 5,670. And we wanna know the perimeter. So we basically need to get the lengths of these sides, and then we just add up the four sides to get the perimeter. But getting the W is the, is the key here. So we can set up an equation, W times 3W minus nine, right? Length times width should equal 5,670. So let's do that. W times 3W minus nine equals this. Now we'll distribute 3W squared minus 9W. And I'm gonna bring the 5,670 over by subtracting 5,670 from both sides. So I get this, and I believe 5,670 is divisible by three. It is, so I'm gonna divide both sides by three just to simplify this a little bit. And I get W squared minus 3W minus 1890 equals zero. So now we have a quadratic, but unfortunately it's kind of a pain to deal with because you'd have to think what are two numbers that multiply out to 1,890 or to negative 1,890 and add up to negative three. And it's not immediately obvious to me, maybe it is to you, but it's not obvious to me what numbers I would even begin with here. So instead of doing it by hand, I recommend we use the quadratic formula because that we can just plug in the numbers from this equation and solve for it. So quadratic formula, not something presented up front, up front, something you need to remember. So quadratic formula is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So now we're gonna plug in our numbers here. In this case, we'll actually call this equals w. So let's see what we get. So w is gonna equal three plus or minus the square root of nine, right? Negative three squared minus four times one times negative 1890. And this is all over two a, so two times one, which is two. So now we just gotta figure out what's in this radical here. So 1890 times four is this. Now, because this is negative four times negative 1890, this is all gonna become positive. So we're gonna go ahead and add this to nine. So nine plus seven, five sixty. Let's square root it and hope we get something good. Great, 87. So we get three plus or minus 87 over two. So this is gonna be either equal to three plus 87 over two, which is 90 over two, which is 45, or three minus 87, which is negative 84 over two, which is negative 42. Now, because this is a real life situation, we have some constraints on our answers and we can't have a negative width, it doesn't make sense. So our width is gonna to have to be 45. So let's go back up here and plug in our numbers. We know this is 45. The length then is gonna be three times 45 minus nine, gets us 126. We know this is 126, we know this is 45, and now to get the answer, which is the perimeter, we add these all up. So 45 plus 45 is 90, 90 plus 126 plus 126, it's 232, wait, did I? Do that again, 90 plus 126 plus 126, there we go, 342, and that would be choice A. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.